Hey guys, this is Monish and uh, today I'll show you how to set up a zero tier VPN on a free NAS server. Bear with me, I'm not a professional YouTuber or anything, I'm just a beginner in free NAS and I found this process a bit difficult, uh, complicated actually. So I'm just, if anyone wants to set up a zero tier VPN, I thought let me make it easy for them. So yeah, here we go. So yeah, I actually visited a lot of forums and read it of course and I copied it a bit from here and there and I actually finally made it work. But after uh, setting it up only I knew that it wasn't actually a much hard process. Okay, fine. Anyway, first step is to create your own network in zero tier and assign or assign the IP range. Uh, just remember the IP range here and uh, yeah, that's basically first step just uh, set things up in the zero tier end and uh, also uh, always run your uh, network on a private mode which is really really important when you are uh, giving up the free nas management console to the network so yeah this is my nas server it's not much well it's not anything actually it has <laughs> it runs on core to duo processor and the four gigabits of ram and actually the free nas server actually needs eight gigabit of ram well it's highly highly recommended but i'll actually start with two i just use this for testing purposes so it's i don't it doesn't matter much to me so yeah it's fine i added two gb data when i wanted to stream plex I just use it to stream Plex in a single device inside the same network, so it's working fine for me. But yeah, I actually eventually have to upgrade it because I fell in love with Sonar and Radar now. So anyway, let's go to Shell and uh, wait. Yeah, copy paste a few commands from. I'll leave the commands actually the code in the description. So the first command is to install zero tier service but freenas already comes with zero tier built in so we can just skip that step and move on to the next step which is to enable zero tier service just go copy this command and paste it yeah you can just paste the command and i've already enabled it so it's coming as yes yes for uh, for you it will probably come as zero tier underscore label s and then start the servers zero tier i'll get an error saying it's already running okay so yeah first start the server and then join your uh, network join your in a uh, enter your uh, zero tier network here your know, 16 digit i guess 16 digit network here and then join your network i've already joined in mine so basically this is the first step and uh, this is actually mostly it this will start uh, running zero tier servers on your free nas and uh, um you'll probably get uh wait i'll just show you yeah you will get your um, device here this is my free nas server so yeah when you go to this ip address which is already assigned you will get the free nas login platform well of course you should be on your vpn for that connect to your vpn network and you'll get it my zero d network is enabled already so yeah in my pc it's already enabled so uh yeah it's already started that ip address is running for me okay so yeah that's the first actually second step oh shit sorry uh that's the second step and um, the thing is free nas deletes the configuration file on every boot so that uh, every time your NAS server reboots, it will lose its configuration file and you have to do this process again. And it will also change your address so you have to uh, enable, authorize your device every time in your uh, my.0tr.com, uh, your network console, uh, every time you reboot. Well, that, <laughs> that doesn't seem very good, right? But So yeah, here's your, how we overcome it. Okay, so here's a little script. Well, actually, thanks to Dave for uh, posting a great gist on that, on this. So, yeah. Okay, now moving on to um, how to automate the process. Okay, thanks to Tumpanoy, I guess. 
yeah for posting the script what does basic does this uh, create a shortcut well first we have to copy the files configuration files to after configuring it of course to our storage pools and then on every reboot it will uh, create a link well shortcut from our storage pool to this so that all configurations will be saved there but unfortunately this did not work for me so i had to copy it copy it on every reboot uh, so yeah i've changed the script well i'll post the script in the description anyway now uh, i just copy paste it by changing the path to folder and uh, network id of course so yeah this is my script and uh, what it does is copy the files from my uh, storage pool and then replace forcefully the one in vardb 0 tier and then start the 0 tier process wait for a second because it takes a second to load or else it won't work and then join my network well i don't think putting my network on youtube video is a good idea and anyway i'll change it after the upload a video it's on private too so okay the next step is to ssh into your sftp into your uh, FreeNAS server enable SSH and there uh, is a good software called WinSCP. Download and install this. I have already downloaded and installed it. So <laughs> if you are able to install FreeNAS, I don't think I have to put a tutorial on uh, installing a software. So yeah. Well, just go to your probably with the new site. Just copy paste your uh, FreeNAS management console ID, username, password. I've already done mine and choose the protocol as SFTP. I've already done mine, so I'm just going to log in directly. Okay. So, inside this is the main process. Go to var db and 0 to 1. Copy the folder. Go to your. Uh, this will obviously change for you. Go to your uh, mounted storage pool. This is mine. I okay then paste it somewhere. I am just pasting it on my zero tier one. So this is my this. Well, make sure you do this process after joining your network so that it will stay connected to that network using the same ID every time. Just copy paste it here. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Oh yeah, I forgot. Paste the script. Paste the script. This script. Yeah. Change the directory to which you pasted your result one folder. Uh, this is the don't change this. Just change this one to where you pasted your result folder, and then save it as dot sh. Your name, my script dot sh or anything, and then paste it. Uh, inside your uh, storage pool wherever you want i paste it in my inside iok folder just remember the location and yeah that's basically it now go to task init slash shutdown scripts and then add a new script add a command i add as a command because the guy said he did it that way okay anyway just the command is bash space and wherever you pasted your uh, script.sh script just like this and uh, choose post it after initialization and enable it that's it and uh, you can now try restarting your zero tier i mean shit uh, freenas server it will basically connect to your network automatically using the same existing id that's just it okay now moving on on how to set up your uh, jails to access the freenas well since i'm a beginner <laughs> it took me a long time to figure this one out but again <laughs> it's a very simple process after you join your network go to network interfaces add all interfaces or in use because i've joined my network already for you it will open up uh, like something like this 
add the interface name 0t underscore 0t or add the IPv4 address. Remember to use this IP range and then add a softnet. I added 185 because it auto assigned to 185, so just added it and then save the network IP in mask 24 and then save the network. So that's basically it for uh, adding the interface. Now go to jail and choose whichever one you want to be available in the VPN. Don't edit it here. We can do it here itself. Actually you can do it via console which is much easier but since we already have this open, I'm gonna go for it. And you can actually see the user interface here. So if you prefer it for beginners, it's they prefer it. So yeah. Uh go to IO cage. Sorry, uh go to IO cage and then jails and choose whichever uh plugin you want or jail to you want to be in the VPN. Open the jail, go to config or JSON. Now scroll down until you find IPv IP4 underscore ADDR address. Okay. So this is the local address where you can uh, usually access your uh, jail and then this will be our VPN. So add your interface ID which you can find here in interfaces. This is your interface ID. This is your interface ID. Wait. This is your interface ID. <laughs> Sorry for repeating it so many times. Uh, this is your interface ID and this symbol. And then add the subnet which you in which you want your uh, jail to be, which is again the same one here. Slash unit mask, that's 24. So this is the format. Just put a comma. For you, it'll be just this one. It'll be just like uh, this. Put a comma and add your interface ID. It'll obviously change for you. And then your uh, IPv4 address and then add a net mask. Okay. So that's basically it. Repeat the process for uh, all the other jail which you want. So again, same process same things again and that's because uh, remember to change the IP4 net mask and also remember not to assign any other IPv uh, any other device to the same IP address in which your uh, jail or resort exists exists okay. and yeah that's basically it I guess that's how you can add your jail to your FNAS. let me just show you uh, I'll, I'll use my mobile, I'll open your VPN from my mobile and I'll show you how it works. Hey guys, now I'll show you how it works. Open your uh, zero tier app and then add your network ID. I've already added mine, so I'll just enable it. Oh wait, I'll just change into mobile data first. Now I'll just wait for it to go online here. Yeah, it's online now. Chrome. Yeah. So it did not work actually. <laughs> Uh, the, I found the problem though it's uh, because I started the zero tier servers in the shell here. I don't know what's the issue here or the main problem is but I had to stop the one running here. So apparently there are two instances of zero tier running. Uh, one's, uh, one the script started and the one I started here. Um, so I eventually had to stop the one here but if you're rebooted your uh, NAS server after running the script once you don't have to probably do this but since I did I had to stop the zero to your service 
and then yeah i'll show you in my mobile So yeah, that's it guys. That's how you create a zero tier network, add that zero tier network to your jail and your management console and then access your console and jails through your VPN anywhere from anywhere in the world. Actually, there's a much easier way to do this. That's using your router. Mine doesn't currently support it, but there are good ones like TP link where uh, the VPN is already inside the router VPN router I guess right I actually ordered this in Amazon due to COVID delivery is taking very long so yeah this is the one I ordered it basically creates has their own VPN inside the router so you don't have to set anything up literally you don't have to touch your NAS server at all you can just uh, add open VPN create a server generate a certificate and then <laughs> yeah that's basically it you can access all the devices in your uh, home network yeah so that's this is the other option this is actually a much much easier option if your router supports VPN, I'd say go with this because you don't have to touch your FreeNAS server at all or zero tier. Anything, you don't have to do anything with that. Your router takes care of it. Okay. Anyway, thank you guys. I hope this helped you with your uh, connections, VPN, or whatever. If not, please leave those questions in your comments and I'll try to figure them out and help you in any way I can. Thank you guys.